back um, with CoolCalc 3.0. I thought I'd show some features, and um, this time we're going to do a load calc um, entering the information manually. Um, so the point of these videos is just to, I'm learning how to use the 3.0 version. It's not for the loads to be accurate. Um, that's why I'm using addresses that I'm not familiar with and just trying to go through the new interface so I know where things are and hopefully that helps you along the way. So one thing I did want to start out with in this video that I think is new, maybe it was available, but you can add users to your team, which is nice. So currently I'm able to use a test account um, for all these videos and they don't pollute my normal account that I run loads on so I find that interesting It also uh, you're able to uh, select whether they're able to use credits or not and so my test account that I use doesn't use credits and I find myself hitting save at the end it tries to charge a credit so forgive me when that happens as it probably will in this video later all right, so we're going to get to it. This one the, on the left of the screen here, um, I downloaded a footprint. And this is an aerial photo of the house. This project's in Miami, Florida. Thanks to Chris on the Facebook group for giving me the address here. So we'll call this example. Oh, 3.0 example two. So we've got the address here in Florida. So it pulls in our dot design conditions. We're going with the block load again. I did look up this was built in 1964 looks like it's a single story once again I'll just pick three now I know in Florida basements are not normal um, so we're gonna say no on all of these this one I do not have a blower door number on so we'll just leave it here as average does not look like there's a fireplace now i'm from ohio i do i have done some loads in florida i know that concrete is a typical source or a block wall i'm going to choose a block wall um and we will go with wood framing. All of those look good. Concrete slab on grade is typical construction in Florida. Now I know it's uh, common sometimes the wall isn't framed and have insulation in the cavity down there but for the sake of the video we're just going to go with all the defaults here uh, to cover how you just enter uh, the dimensions in as text instead of the map trace feature. So here you, um, and you'll have to bear with me because this is literally my first time doing this. We're going to add a room. Um, and we'll call this first floor. 
since we're just trying to do the block load. I just got to hit continue. So we'll start with the north wall. I looks like the area labeled AL1 is probably a garage. Um would be my guess. So there's no windows. Let's say that there's a door. Then we'll add our west wall here, which is 32 feet. The label PPT in this area looks like there's a porch. I'm going to assume with the pool and everything that there's kind of high glass content here and um, doors. Then we have another north-facing wall here. Looks like 12, 13. I don't know what this ad is. So we're just going to act like this. That ad isn't there. And I'm going to use this 25 feet. I don't know if that's a shed or what it is um i think i'm also going to choose high window content here as there's probably you know some walkouts maybe to get um to the pool area we'll add a door as well all right so now we have another west wall that's 16 feet. I'm going to say there's no windows because, once again, I don't really know what this addition thing is. Then we have a south wall that's 62 feet. I'm probably going to go with low window content on that. Um, you can't see in the photo, but there's kind of houses on either side, so uh, probably less windows there. Oh, did I just... So next we're going to add a east wall which is 16 feet. Another north at 13 feet. I'll say low window content on that wall. And then an east 22 plus 10, that's 32. And that should be all of our walls. So... Looks like we're about 2,900 square feet. Um, floor area and ceiling area are equal. Generated a ceiling for us. Generated the floor. Looks like by clicking the pencil, you can get and uh, 
set some more fine grained details. So like this wall, the north wall actually should be a partition. We'll do a garage under attic. Alright, so next we would, uh, just like normal, you would add an HVAC system. Call it current. And um, then we need to add a duct system. In Florida, I know it's uh, common to have um, the duct in the attic. I'm just going to stick with the defaults there. So, looks like we're about a 30,000 BTU cooling load and a 21,000 BTU heating load so I hope you guys enjoyed and that was helpful for you let me know what you think about uh, cool cow 3.0 in the comments below